He came with the blizzard. My sleep schedule has been pretty messed up lately. After months of unemployment and a few too many nights staying up way too late scrolling on TikTok, I pretty much become nocturnal. I usually end up going to bed around the same time that most people who still have jobs are getting up to get ready for work. Really healthy habits, I know. Last night, I was up binge-watching The Great British Baking Show. I'm obsessed, but that's not the point. As is normal for 3 a.m., I got up to make myself a coffee. After retrieving that and a Kit Kat from my bowl of Halloween candy, I walked back in my living room ready to watch Paul tear someone apart for their stodgy bread. That's when I saw him. Standing alone in the street directly in front of my house was a tall, cloaked figure. I could not see his face, but somehow I knew he was staring directly at me through the second-story window. He didn't move. His cloak didn't even blow in the wind. He just stood there, staring. Now, I live in Minnesota, and in a pretty typical snow to fashion, we had a blizzard yesterday. Yes, in October. It's normal. It wasn't like Halloween blizzard of 1991 levels or anything, but we got about six to seven inches, so it's going to be inconvenient. It snowed for about 12 hours straight, and my neighborhood doesn't get plowed until the morning after a big snow. All this to say that six to seven inches of snow was still laying on the road, almost entirely undisturbed, including by the cloaked figure. This is that beautiful, fresh packing snow that instantly conforms to whatever shape touches it if you apply even the smallest amount of pressure. A squirrel can't run through this stuff without leaving a trail. There is no way a very large person could. Yet still, where there should have been deep, heavy footprints, there was perfectly smooth, fresh, glistening snow. I don't know how long we stood like that and stared at one another. The next thing I remember was my neighbor Tanya asking if I was okay. My head felt fuzzy, and it took me a minute to register what was happening. Then I felt the cold. I looked around and realized that I was standing in the road in front of my house, wearing just my pajamas, and it was only about 34 degrees outside. I don't know how long I was out there, but I probably should have frozen to death. The cloaked figure was nowhere in sight. Just as there was no evidence of his arrival, there was no evidence of his departure. I don't know for sure why I went outside. Did I speak to him? Why had he come? Who was he? I have a guess. Now I'm left to wonder, did I beat death last night? Or was this just a warning? Support our channel by subscribing to it.